Hello and welcome. In this video, we're going to explore the powerful features of auto layout in Lunacy. I'll guide you step by step on how to create three different types of buttons, each with its own unique style and functionality. So, let's dive in and start designing. We are going to add in our work environment a text, it must be the text that you want to place in the button, in this case I will place, click here. Once we have done this, we select the text and add the auto layout by pressing the keys, shift plus A. Now, we can adjust the height and width of the button. We can also make one side wider than the other. The next step is to add a fill for the background of the button and change the color of the letters. From here you can change the color of the letters, you can also do it from selection fonts, remember that you can also set a color that is specifically for button letters. Oh, let's add a rounded border, we can do it from here. I think that will be enough for me, you can make it as rounded as you want. Would you like to add an icon to the button? Let's add an icon. We'll use an arrow in this case. We just have to drag the icon over the button to add it, after that we will have to change the icon size. Very good! Let's change the color of the icon by adding a fill. I will select the same color of the letters this time. And I'll try a gradient, well, I'm just showing you that this is also possible. To select the icon again, we have to click on it twice, but keep in mind that it must be on it and not around it. I will go back to using a normal fill for the icon. Now I will adjust the spacing between the text and the button icon, I think 5 pixels will be fine. And how about a shadow effect? Let's go for it. Click on effects and a default shadow will be added, which can be adjusted as you like. This is how the first button of this tutorial looks like, let's create the next one. We repeat the same process of the previous button, add the text and then activate the auto layout by pressing the keys, shift plus A. Now we adjust the position, width and height of the letters and the button. We add a fill, in this case a gradient. Click on the color and select Gradient. Apply the colors and then just change the color of the letters. If you want to add an icon, you can do it. It is advisable to do so because the icons make the button has a meaning. It can be to send an email, go to an external page, download, among other things. I'll show you a little more about rounded corners. You can round all corners, and you can also round only some of them. Whatever the shape of the button you can add a shadow effect, the process of doing it is always similar, you select the effect and then adjust the parameters according to your project. Okay. 
We're done with the second button, we'll start with the next one, but first I invite you to visit my Fiverr profile, where I build cool websites, prices start from $80. Alright, here we already know it, add the text, apply the auto layout, but this time instead of a fill, we will use a border. The border can be a single color and also a gradient. The corners can also be rounded. To finish, we will change the text color. And that's it. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you want leave in the comments what you want to learn about lunacy.